everybody. Darling? Oh, no, Bill. Please. It's too early. Mom, I'll be home late from school today. Anything for me? First you write letters, then you get letters. Why would you be late? Got to find out about that job. You know, helping out two afternoons a week. For that big pastry catering outfit. I thought she got the job. No, I only met one boss. Today I meet the real boss, Big Al. Big Al? Well, who's the other one? Nathan Detroit? That's funny. See y'all later. Do you have your retainer? Yeah. I thought it was funny. Anything interesting? Well, all the junk mail we got could be turned back into trees. We'd have a forest primeval in the backyard. Hello. Hi, Mr. Lawrence. May I speak to Nancy, please? She's not here, Jeff. She must be. She's not answering in the guest house. Would you ask her to call me, please? I'll tell her you called. Thank you, sir. Persistent, isn't he? I wish he'd stop. He's just making things harder for Nancy. Uh, I don't understand. They're going into court tomorrow. Well, maybe once the divorce is final, he'll give up. Maybe he hasn't given up because Nancy hasn't really made it clear that it's over. Well, what does it take? She's been living here for six months. She does everything she can to be out when he comes to see Timmy. I know all that. She's very torn about it all. And I, I think that confuses Jeff. No, no, you're wrong. She's absolutely certain this time. I've talked to her. I mean, you know what went on. I'm not talking about whether she had cause. She's covering up a lot of things. It worries me. No, she shouldn't be worried this time. She's cool, calm, and collected. Exactly. That's what's bothering me. Divorces are famous for upsetting people's equilibrium. Nancy, as steady as she goes. Well, I think she's handled herself well. Personally, I'm very pleased with her. I'm going out there now. Give her a kiss for me. I will. Bye-bye, Cookie. Uh -huh. Willie, he is, too, making progress, and I'll prove it to you. Timmy? Timmy, see this? You say cracker for Uncle Willie? Yeah. Say, what, what, what is this? What is this? What is it? Hmm. Oh, he, he does have a future as an orator, though. I knew it. I knew it. Don't you be. You know, it's interesting how motherhood can turn a formerly intelligent woman into a babbling... Ooh, bore. <laughs> I know it, but it's only that it should be when a woman's got such a perfect baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> I give up. You know, I wish it wasn't happening, Nancy. The divorce? Yeah. Well, it is, so you better get used to it. I need you on my side. Please. You've got me. I just like things to be different, that's all. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to work. Well, I was invited for Timmy's first speaking engagement, and it was a complete flop. I will. So keep trying, kid. Don't call us. I'll see you all later. You'll be sorry when he's president. Nancy! You hear that, Nancy? He said cracker. Mother, I love you. You ready for a swinging day in the town with Grandma, darling? Hmm? I swear I'll get some. Oh, I love it, honestly. Even so, it's not easy. I promise you, I'll tell you if it isn't. Jeff called. Poor mother, you're a full-time babysitter and answering service. Actually, the phone rang out here a few times. I just didn't feel like talking to him. I'm sorry. It's all right. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Don't look so worried. I am worried. I'm worried about you. I've seen the calm. Where's the storm? It's long overdue. The weather is fine. Thanks. Be right back after class. Oh, that woman I interviewed, I think I'll give her a try. Tim seemed to like her. You mean that Shaw woman? Yeah, she looks okay. She looked like Lizzie Borden, didn't she, Timmy? <laughs> My bones felt you wouldn't have done that. Your bones look pretty good to me. Dr. Town. Nancy Valen. Well, American constitutional law. It's not as much fun as abnormal psych. 
Well, it's required for an aspiring lawyer. No psych courses this semester? Sorry. Then if I want to see you, I guess I'll have to take you out for coffee. Oh. How about a cup of coffee? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Oh, not a chance, thanks. <laughs> it took me about a year to lose the 20 pounds I put on when I was pregnant. His name is Timmy, and he's 14 months old and adorable. Oh, mine are 14 years old and impossible. Mm. I'm divorced, you know. I'd heard. I'm in the process of being. I'd heard. Uh. Are you uh, free for dinner on Saturday? Um, I don't know. That's funny. In my class, you knew it all. No, it's, it's just that, um, well, the truth is, tomorrow's my divorce hearing. Tomorrow? Ooh, the night before can be rough. Uh, Would you like somebody to hold your hand? Yes. No, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, if you change your mind, I'll be home all evening. Uh, I, I don't think I will. No. Maybe. You know, I really like a girl who knows her own mind. <laughs> Delivering it now. What is it? The Leaning Tower of Pisa. Wow. I hope it doesn't keel over before it gets there. Oh, it didn't. Oh, you're Buddy Lawrence. Glad to meet you, Alexander Friel. Better known as Big Al. Does this explain things? You bake all morning and then go to school. Liz comes here in the afternoon and does everything else, right? Right, except Tuesdays and Wednesdays when I have classes. And that's why you're here. Hey, buddy. Well, what do I have to do exactly? Whipped cream is not my best thing. I go too far. That's okay. I'm whipped cream. You're boxes. Mostly you take messages and fold boxes. Also, you take money when cakes are picked up, plus cleaning up. Everything's okay but the cleaning. Mm, that's part of the deal. You're paying two dollars an hour, right? Uh-huh. For two fifty on the white tornado. <laughs> okay, you're on. Two fifty with deductions. When can you start? Right now. Liz and I will be back to close up, okay? Buddy Lawrence, welcome to your just desserts. See you. Bye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Chrissy Everett. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Nancy here? Yes. May I see her, please? That's up to her. Will you tell her I'm here, please? I'll just wait outside, thanks. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Willie. Are you okay? Uh, you want an apple? Go back to your place and talk. No, not there. Come on.
What is it? The last four times I've come here to see Timmy, you haven't even been round. It wasn't an accident. Nancy, you're so mean. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to fight. Just tell me what it is you want. All right. I want you to agree not to go into court tomorrow. Oh, Jeff, you're right off the wall. Well, look, I don't expect you to come back to the apartment or anything like that. We need more time. I can't take what's going to happen in court tomorrow. I want more time for us, for me, to kind of back up and start over and get it right. I can get it right, Nancy, if you just give me some more time. I'll be anything you want me to be. What I want you to be? Isn't that a decision you're supposed to have made for yourself? <sighs> yes, of course you're right. <clears throat> a long time ago, I decided I wanted to be a circus clown. Then I met you, and I said, no, this girl just isn't going to enjoy life under the big top. Come on, Nancy, talk to me. You always used to say, let's have a dialogue. Let's have a dialogue. All right, let's have a dialogue. Have a dialogue with me, Nancy. Please. It's all been said, Jeff. I'm worn out waiting for you to grow up. <sighs> I guess I'm a little bit of a late bloomer, dear. You just gotta hang in there with guys like me. You know, Einstein never even said mama until he was four years old. Oh, you're incredible. You really think you can get away with everything? Oh, I'll define everything for you now. That's Claire, Barbara, Dina. Let me define everything. Nancy. Just Nancy. I mean that. You're my everything. Da, 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 dee. Time's worn off. Doesn't work anymore. Well, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to crawl to you on your mother's spotless kitchen floor? No, see, I don't want anything from you. But I do have a little home truth for you. <laughs> it's not Nancy you want. It's just that, see, she's the one that's getting away. And I am getting away, Jeff. Believe me. Good night. <sighs> All right, Prince is perfect. You call the shots just like always. But let me leave you with a little home truth. You like a man in your bed, babe. And my money says it'll be a breezy day in Death Valley before you ever find anybody to stand up to your artillery on any kind of permanent basis here. again. Get out! Get out! Get over! Get out! <laughs> Nancy Maitland? You were right. Uh, the hand here that needs holding after all. Come on, Kitty, eat your breakfast. Close your eyes and pretend it's pizza. Good morning. Hi. I'm worried about him, Willie. You won't eat. I don't think it'll matter much if you skip some meal. I think he's depressed. Depressed about what? Did he lose his rattle? Don't be smart, Willie. I'm serious. I heard the boys who grow up without fathers can become homosexuals. Timmy's not gonna grow up without his father. Jeff loves him. He's not gonna just drop out of his life. Besides, you don't think Nancy's gonna stay single for the rest of her life, do you? Just think of her as a candle and men as moths. Timmy will have a stepfather. I know kids who are living with their second stepfather. Beth Hughes is on her third. Yeah, right. Well, think of the looted Christmas, huh? Not good enough, Willie. As far as I'm concerned, the whole thing stinks. Look, Peaches, it would be great for Timmy to grow up with his own father, but not if he has to live with the kind of scene that took place last night, right? 
And there's no reason for Nancy to go on living with it either. Or Jeff, for that matter. Then they should stop fighting. Well, they can't. It's called incompatibility, which means most of the time they want to kill each other. Hey, tell me about your job. There's nothing to tell. Well, uh, your boss, what's he like, huh? Miguel? Terrific. Well, terrific how? Just terrific. Can't wait for you two to meet. Good morning, Mrs. Hanley. Good morning. Hope breakfast isn't over. Didn't have mine. You're in luck again, Mrs. Hanley. I was just fixing mine. Scrambled all right? Yes, but keep them soft. How could I forget a thing like that? Good morning, Mom. Good morning. How's my baby, Tim? I was just wanting to find out. Spent the night at Granny's again, did he? Mother, I need to see you a minute, please. Bon appetit. Mother, I, I want to say I'm sorry about last night. I, I just got, had to get out of here after that scene with Jeff. It's all right. I sat up until almost two. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have called you. Well, I guess everybody heard everything last night. Let's hope that's for the last time. Is Timmy up? Buddy's got him. Oh, well, I better go up and give him a big hug before I run. Got some classes this morning. Nancy, is it all really so easy for you? School in the morning, a divorce in the afternoon. Mother, please, I know you want to help me, but I have to do it this way. Is there any of your strawberry jam left? I can't find it anywhere. Neither can anybody else, Mrs. Hanley. I believe you were the last to have some. Perhaps if you retraced your steps. Hi, bud. Oh, I love my baby. Oh, did I miss you? He didn't yes. miss anything, including you and Jeff fighting last night. Oh, I'm sorry. Things got kind of out of hand down there. Is it really going to happen today? The divorce? Yeah. When I get married, if I ever get married, I'll stay married. I think everybody thinks that. Jeff and I didn't want to end up this way. Maybe I won't get married. Maybe the thing to do is not use me as an example. Think of Mom and Dad. Well, okay. I'll reconsider. Goodbye. Your Hammond photography. Willie, you're not going to believe this, but I'm being held prisoner in a cookie factory. All right, all right. Okay, all right. Hang in there, kid. I'll get you out. This ought to do it, but stand back, because I don't want you to get hurt. All right. Breathe. Hold it right there. Oh, look, 
I was just trying to get her out of there. Oh, what is this, shrimp? Which one do you think you are, Starsky or Hutch? Look, I'm not a thief. Then what are you, a child molester? Have you been following that child in there? Stay back! I'm not gonna touch you. I'm not gonna touch you, okay? I told you, I was just trying to get her out of there. Why? Why? Because she asked me to. I'm her brother. Oh, so you're Willie. Yeah, that's right, I'm Willie. So who are you? A. Friel, proprietor. Big Al? My name is Alexandra Friel. <laughs> You're Big Al? <laughs> I'll drive you to court. My last class is at 2. Thanks. My father's picking me up. Call him. I'll drive you home, too. And back in the morning, if you like. Tell you what, I have a better idea. Why don't you come with me to the hearing? Then maybe afterwards we can get the same judge to marry us. Don't be flipped, Nancy. It's not like you. I don't think you're in a position to know what is like me. Suppose I call you later. If you feel like dinner, I'll come by for you. Uh, Peter, I'm sorry. It's all right. If you weren't upset about this afternoon, I'd really be worried. I'm not upset. I, I just can't wait for the whole thing to be over with. OK, have it your way, but drive carefully. Why are you being so reasonable? Because I like you. And I want to see you again. And if I play into your hands of the shape you're in now, that wouldn't be possible, would it? Right? Talk to you later. <laughs> It's okay, I just got here myself. Neil Ferguson called just as I was leaving the office. He was trying to reach you. What do you want? Uh, Jeff's attorney's called him. Jeff has asked for some changes in the visitation rights. I knew it. I knew he'd try something. Don't worry. Neil will handle it. Yeah, I know. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, Daddy, really. As you know, the purpose of this meeting is to iron out any difficulties or problems you may have uh, before your actual court appearance. Now, I don't uh, think any uh, discussion is necessary about the dissolution of the property, am I correct? Yes. As to your son, Timothy Maitland, Mrs. Maitland, you've agreed to let your husband take the child weekends between the hours of uh, 10... Your Honor, I don't agree. Well, according to the papers that I have here... I know, I did agree before, but I don't now. I don't think it would be fair to my son. Your Honor, we can't allow Mr. Maitland I'll to... I'll decide what's allowed in my chambers, Mr. Ferguson. All right, young man, go ahead and have your say. Thank you. I do agree to the amount of time that I'm allowed to see Timmy. I just don't want to do it away from my wife's home. You see, he's only 14 months old. He hardly knows me anymore. I think it would terrify him to be taken out of his familiar surroundings every week by a man who's almost a stranger to him. It is not my fault that you're a stranger to Timmy. Wait your turn, Mrs. Maitland. Your Honor, it is not altogether my fault either. What he says about seeing Timmy at my house has nothing to do with the baby. He wants to see me. He wants to continue to be a part of my life. That is not true. Well, it is. Right now, I'm only thinking about Timmy. You just got to have it your own way, don't you? Even if you have to use your own baby your to Honor, do it. All I'm trying to do is to establish a slightly it is so more selfish normal... selfish and despicable. Nancy, give me a break. I'm only trying to do what's best for all of us. Oh, that's such a lie. You're just thinking of yourself. You're, you're, you're spoiled rotten. You're absolutely infantile. I don't need two babies. Well, one in the crib and one in my bed. How would you know the difference? I love this thing. 
Oh, yeah. Well, that's a classic. Jeff gave that to me. Yeah. I remember. Hey, Willie. <clears throat> you think they really did it? Punched each other out right in front of everybody? <clears throat> well, that's what Dad said. I wish I could have seen it. You're disgusting. Yeah, I guess so. I bet Nancy started it. Oh, uh, why don't you give her a break? Why? She gets more breaks than anybody in this family. <laughs> hey, how do I look? For what? My date with your boss, Alexandra Friel. Really? Far out. Come on, Al. We better get going. Do you have any favorite restaurants? Oh, I thought we were going to a movie. Well, sure, we are, but uh, after dinner. I'm sorry, Willie. I, uh, I didn't know you planned on doing two things. Well, actually, I planned on doing three, maybe four things with you. Uh, well, suppose we, uh, suppose we buy some sandwiches and take them to the movie with us. Well, why don't we just take one of your cakes and eat it off our laps? <laughs> a pair of track shoes, maybe? It would save time. That way, we don't even have to stop at a delicatessen. Oh, are you being sarcastic? It sounds to me as if you've allowed yourself exactly two hours for a date with me. No more and no less. And when the two hours are up, uh, that's it, Willie, and on to the next chore. But, Willie, I really have to budget my time. I go to school, I operate a business, I have friends and a family. I just have to keep to a schedule. Well, I have a schedule for my life, too, but I also have an eraser. Well, I don't. Not now, anyway. Well, then maybe we better put this date off until you do. Well, if that's the way you feel. That's the way I feel. <clears throat> ah, good luck with your cupcakes. So long. So long. What time is it? 9.30. Where could she be? It's six hours since she walked out. Where did she say she was going? I told you, she was very upset. All she said was, leave me alone. I'm surprised she was able to say that. What do you mean? Just that I think it's a healthy sign. She should want to be alone after a scene like that. It's humiliating to have your parents in on it. Times like this, she needs her parents the most. Not anymore. She's 24 years old. We know all there is to know about her. I don't think that's right. She has friends for that, people her own age to go to. Uh, when oh. she left, Jeff, she didn't go to those friends. She came to us. Then she needed her family. The ones who always take her side. Well, don't you think we were right to support her? Yes, I do, and we did. We should have. We can't do it forever, Doug. You don't understand at all. Oh, shut up. You know how much I love her. Ever since she moved back here, all we've done is try and take the pressure off her, both of us. Babysit, fetch and carry for her, wait up for her when she's out past midnight. If we go on this way, she'll... Never have to figure out anything for herself. Listen, Kate, when she gets home tonight, she's going to need some comfort and some reassurance. Maybe she will. And if she does, I'll be right there to give it to her. But it is possible that she won't, that she went elsewhere for that reassurance. If you could accept that, it would help her enormously. Your move. I need a cigarette. Sorry, can't help you. Nobody has any comforting vices anymore. You tired? I'm dead. 
Peter. I think you should get some rest. Thank you for coming to my rescue this afternoon. I'll walk you to the door. Uh, not tonight, all right? Okay. Sleep well, slugger. Hi, Nancy. Didn't mean to scare you. You look like you need a cigarette. Nancy's back. I didn't hear the car. Her light is on. Hello? Hello, Daddy. Yes, I'm fine. Uh, could I talk to you in the morning? Oh, how is Timmy? Oh, good. Okay, yes. Thank you, Daddy. See you in the morning. Good night. How's Timmy? Sleeping like a baby. <laughs> Do you want a drink? Yeah, okay. I'm starving. So am I. Well, you haven't changed either. Mm -hmm. Remember those? <sighs> oh, how about some clam chowder? New England or Manhattan? I don't know. It's the kind you like. You make it with milk, not water. That's New England. You never got that straight. Sorry about Would you like to come inside and have some coffee? No, so I better not. Go. Would you like some juice? Yes. Thank you. I never expected to see you. Not after what happened in court yesterday. Oh, it was pretty wild. What? Are you two getting back together? <laughs> well, at least we're talking instead of punching. I don't know. Well, I hope you work it out. Yeah. So do I, Willie. Would you like to have some coffee? No, I'm trying to get out of here before your father wakes up. Thanks for the juice. Ah, a 
refreshments. Mine. I'm too weak to get back into the kitchen without a little nourishment. Well? Fine, thank you, and you? Come on, Willie, I have a right to know. Ask me a direct question and maybe I can help you. Did you have fun last night? No. Oh, come on, Willie. Your boss is a uh, beautiful, fantastic, charming, smart person, and I'm never going to see her again. I don't believe it. You finally meet a girl who's not just another pretty face, and you ruin it. I guess you're just not ready for a mature relationship. You know, nobody needs a smart mouth kid, buddy, especially this early in the morning. Uh, only the truth hurts. Uh, I suppose she's too definite for you. Hmm. Frankly, I find it embarrassing. My own brother can't handle a girl who's as smart as he is. I guess you're just another chauvinist. You know something? In the words of Mrs. Hanley, I think this toast could do with a little something, don't you? Let's try this. No! Yeah. Oh, God. You have toast, buddy. That's right. <laughs> no, if you must know, Miss Friel doesn't have time for me in her carefully arranged schedule. And you let her get away with that. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I'm here to apologize. No, oh, really, Willie. Uh, it's just shut up. I'm not apologizing to you. I'm apologizing to myself for not doing what I really wanted to do in the first place. Oh, what was that? That was this. And that's not all. Hey. There is a terrific new Italian restaurant just down the street, and I am taking you there for lunch. Willie, it's only 10.45, and honestly, I can't leave. Well, you see, it's hopeless. Don't say that. I was going to deliver it. Oh. Hey. Don't bother wrapping it. Let's just eat it here, huh? fed to me and put him down, so uh, I won't be gone too long. Where are you going? Well, I'm, I'm meeting Jeff. Oh? Well, I agreed to have lunch with him. Why? Because he got to me again, that's why. He was at the guest house when I came back last night. He stayed the night. Close the door, please. Come in here. Well, it was 12. Closed doors meant business. I saw Jeff leaving this morning. What's going on? Mother, he plays me like a poker hand from a stack deck. I really think I hate him. Hate him? Oh, Nancy, hate's such a tricky emotion. It's almost never what it seems. You mean if I feel enough to hate, I probably still love? I don't think so. Still, you are on your way to have lunch with him. What for? To tell him how much you hate him? No, I have to. I said I would. You don't have to go. I don't think Jeff's the only game player around. Nancy, for heaven's sake, be absolutely clear about what you're doing. Try not to go into divorce angry and vindictive. You mustn't blind yourself to all the good things you and Jeff had together. Mother, I've had to to get through this. I can understand that. But feelings have to be balanced one against the other, the good against the bad. You're not doing that. Jeff's been your husband for four years. He's the father of Timmy. When you do finally face him in the divorce court, I don't want you to go there convinced that you're leaving a monster. 
You're leaving a charming young man whom you've loved, who's loved you. Well, that's not fair. You have to look at that charming young man and remember all the good things about him and your life with him. Chalk them up against the bad and be able to say they don't add up to enough. That's what I mean, darling. Have you done that? No. Oh, Nancy, you must. Help me, Mother. Oh, help me. This way, please. Oh, no, before you say anything, just open it. Yeah, I know. It's twice as big as the first one I got you. I think it's crass. I couldn't help it. Look, I figure we're gonna do everything over again. We might as well do it twice as big. used to work. Yes, I did. No more traps, Jeff. What? No, our, 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 our marriage was just a, a series of traps. Catch each other and play games. Trick or treat. We were four years at trick or treat. Just two little kids hell bent on never growing up. But there were some grown up things, too some good things. I don't know. Nancy, look at me. You know there were. Yes, there were. There were good things. There were some wonderful times. But not lately. And never enough. What would be enough for you? You know, once when Timmy was about four months old, I was at the apartment. I went into his room and you were in there and you were holding him. And you held him in your arms and you danced light and easy around the room, singing. You were singing Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy from Company B. You didn't, you didn't see me. Oh, at that moment, I loved you more than I ever loved any single person in my life. I was filled with a kind of joy I'd never felt before. And I've seldom felt since. I want to have that feeling again. I want to have a hope of someday having that feeling again. That's what enough means to me. Well, call me Sam. Say, play it again, Sam. I can play it again, Nancy, I swear it. Jeff, it's over. We have, we've done so much harm to each other. It really is over. I won't forget the good parts. I don't want to.
bed is too long. Oh, come to bed. I have a confession to make. Oh, my God, not tonight, please. Oh, really, Jeff Maitland. He's all right. Well, better late than never. Now, well, finally, he... He handled himself well. Today in court, he was, uh, he was gentle, considerate, dignified. I'm gonna miss him. No, you're not. You'll be seeing him every weekend when he comes to pick up Timmy. Every weekend? Saturday and Sunday. I didn't see him that much when they were married. I thought you were gonna miss him. Kate, I mean, it's, uh, it's absence that makes the heart grow fonder. Oh, hush up. She put her light up. Good. I'm glad she can get some sleep. She's worn out. We all are. I'm not. Oh, turn out the light. Mm -hmm.